Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today we have lucky episode number 13 of 10 Things You Didn't Know About. Make way for another Mac attack, y'all. Buckle up, because today we are bringing you 10 things you didn't know about the superb Superliner. Number one, the heavy-duty Class 8 Superliner truck was introduced by Mac in 1977 as a replacement for their Mac RW Western Mac model. Although released as a successor to the RW model, the Superliner was originally developed as a prototype for the Mac subsidiary Brockway Motors Company. However, when Brockway Motors shut down in early 1977, the Superliner was then unveiled later in the year as a Mack truck instead. Number two, you guys might recall from our previous 10 things you didn't know about Mack trucks video that a 1985 Mack Superliner truck infamously plays Mack in the 2006 animated children's movie Cars. However, did you know that the wind deflector featured on Mack in the film actually resembles a trucker cap? This universal trucking symbol, often worn by real-life truckers, not only gives Mac that classic trucker look, but also provides the semi with a stylish visor similar to the shiny stainless ones found on many show trucks. Speaking of visors, if you happen to be in the market for one, be sure to check out our chrome shop at jackschromeshop.com. Number 3. In 1984, Mac introduced the Superliner 2 for the next model year. To further promote these new trucks, Mack built a series of special edition Magnum versions of the Superliners. These specially built Magnum trucks sported a flashy red interior with a sleek black exterior and were only made for one model year, with a total of 250 Magnum models produced. Number 4. A few years later in 1988, Mack Trucks Australia came out with 16 Special Edition Superliner II Bicentennial trucks, all of which were named after highly influential individuals in Australian history. Included in this lineup would be Ned Kelly, the infamous Australian outlaw and bush ranger, best known for wearing a suit of bulletproof armor during his final shootout with the police, as well as early Australian aviator Kingsford Smith, among many others. Number 5. Speaking of Mack Trucks Australia, although the original Superliners ceased production in the US in 1993, Mack Trucks Australia actually still manufactures the truck as a light-duty version of the Mack Titan. Number 6. A 1984 Mack Superliner called the Buckeye Bulldog is owned by J.R. Collins' polling team and is one of the few trucks to be officially sponsored by Mack Trucks. This big bad bulldog lives up to its super liner name in the National Tractor Pulling Association in the Super Semi class. Number 7. Many of you are likely familiar with the cult classic animated television sitcom King of the Hill. One of the main characters, Dale Gribble, is a chain smoking, paranoid conspiracy theorist who is rarely seen without his Mack Trucks ball cap. Although Gribble doesn't make a direct reference to the Mack Superliner truck, judging by his consistent Mack Attack attire, we think it is safe to assume that he is a super fan of the Superliner as well as all things Mack trucks. Number 8. In an early episode of the Nickelodeon animated children's cartoon series Fairly Odd Parents, you can spot Nick's parody version of a Mack Superliner truck. This Superliner features the word smack instead of Mac on the grill, a silly play on words as the truck nearly smacked the main character, Timmy Turner's dad, when he was a child, as depicted in the episode. Number 9. In 2015, Mack Trucks Australia built the world's most expensive Mack truck ever produced with their supersized Superliner, built exclusively for the Sultan of the Malaysian state of Johor. This highly customized, one-of-a-kind rig has an upgraded, jumbo-sized sleeper complete with all the finest fixins, including eucalyptus wood floors, granite countertops, gold stitching in the upholstery, and two large flat-screen TVs complete with a PlayStation and a stereo system. 
This special superliner was painted red, white, and blue to match the Johor state flag and sports a gold tiger hood ornament in reference to the Sultan's coat of arms, as opposed to the iconic bulldog hood ornament typically found on all Mack models. Although the exact price of the truck was not revealed, it is thought by many to be upwards of $1 million. Number 10. The made-for-TV movie Flatbed Annie and Sweetie Pie, Lady Truckers, debuted as the first full-blown trucker chick flick in 1979. As what many would go on to call a cross between Thelma and Louise and Smokey and the Bandit, Flatbed Annie and Sweetie Pie starred Annie Potts as Flatbed Annie, Kim Darby as Ginny De La Rosa, aka Sweetie Pie, and none other than their infamous Max Superliner truck. Throughout the film, these lovely ladies endure all kinds of crazy adventures together on the run from a relentless repo man and two hijacking thugs seeking a secret stash of drugs aboard the Superliner. However, with the help of their Super Max Semi, the pretty pair of ladies are able to keep on trucking. Thank you so much for watching our 10 things you didn't know about the Max Superliner, folks. Before you leave, make sure you like the video, check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe. We are growing rapidly and quickly approaching our next goal of 20k subscribers, so thank you all so much for your support for the show. If you'd like to stay up to date with the new projects we have coming, follow us at Jack's Chrome Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We still have our truck history shirts available on our website, jackschromeshow.com, so be sure to check them out. If you're in the mood for some chrome, drop by our online chrome shop at jackschromeshop.com and save on your order by using the discount code YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember, if your rig don't shine, you don't know Jack. <laughs>